Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that have been here before, you know me, but for those of you that have not, my name is David and I have this little YouTube ministry here that I put out a video once a week. Um, it can be on a range of subjects lately. The focus has been end times and how the current events are going on. What's going on in the world relates to end times uh, from a biblical perspective. And uh, today is no exception. Um, I wanted to bring this video to you from Florida, my home state. Uh, we are here on vacation and I didn't want to use that as an excuse to miss an opportunity to record and to say hello to you and to wish all of you a happy Resurrection Day. You might say, well, well, it's Easter, David. Well, I don't personally call it Easter. I don't um, have a problem with those that do, but for me personally, today is not Easter is kind of that man-made religious holiday, and that is not what today is about. Today is about the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I will start off by saying, if you don't know him, if you don't know our Savior, Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord and Savior, and you have not given your heart to him, today is the day. Today is the perfect day to do that. And if you're not sure where to start, I would highly recommend that you reach out to somebody that you trust that is a Christian, reach out to your local church, or leave me a comment below. I'd love to pray with you and love to answer any questions that you have. Um, but today is all about him. Um, in this world that we are living in right now, it is more important than ever that we look to days like today for our hope. You know, a lot of people put their hope in different things. Some people put it in alcohol. Some people put it in drugs. Some people put it in sex and, and, and relationships. Um, some people put it in money. But today is the day that over 2,000 years ago, death lost its sting. Death lost its hope. And Satan lost the war. And you might say, well, how did that happen? Well, as you probably know, hopefully know, um, that Jesus died on, on a good Friday, or at least that's the day we recognize it. He was crucified, he was buried, but that's not where the story ends. And see, that's where we need to draw our hope. And I refer to you to, to the scripture that I wanna look at. It's Matthew 28, verse six, which says, he is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. Come and see the place where he lay. Now see, this is what some people might say, well, what separates your religion from all the other religions in the world? And that's just it. That's where the answer is found. It's not about religion. It's not about church membership. It's not about following a set of rules and regulations. What it is about is that the, the person, God incarnate, that we worship died a sinner's death on the cross, but it didn't stop there. He rose again. He rose from the dead. And it's not just on faith that we take this. Thousands of people saw him. Thousands of people saw the empty tomb. The Roman soldier, let me give you a little bit of history. The Roman soldier that was protecting the tomb because there were rumors about, you know, Jesus prophesying that he was going to be resurrected. And so the guard, the Roman guard, would have never made up a story about this. He witnessed the fact that the tomb was now empty. He never left the, the entrance to the tomb. And so not only did he see the empty tomb, but there were plenty of people, hundreds if not thousands of people that saw the empty tomb and then saw his resurrected body as he ministered for what some would say another 45 days, days or so on earth. So we worship the Savior that is not dead in the ground like Muhammad, those that worship him. Buddha or anybody else, we worship the Savior that is risen and that paid the ultimate price and defeated death. And because of that, if you give your life to him, if you give your life to the risen Savior, Jesus Christ, one day you, along with me, will be in paradise because he paid the penalty that we should have paid. Now, folks, again, we are always looking for the answers. And even those of us that are Christ followers, have struggles, especially with the world the way it is. But on this day, and this is where I'm going to wrap up because I don't want to go on and on and on. This is the day that we celebrate the blessed hope. The day that death was defeated, that the promise will be fulfilled, 
that one day there'll be no pain and no suffering, but we have to give our lives to him. Does that mean we have to be perfect? Absolutely not. God is not looking for per perfection. What he is looking for is people that will follow him and turn their lives around to repent, to turn around from their old ways and head in a new direction, which God gives us once we come to Christ through his Holy Spirit, part of the Trinity. So with that said, I'm not going to keep you. I hope you all have a great resurrection day. I hope you have time to spend with your family and your friends. Again, we are here in Florida. And so as soon as I get done with this, hopefully within a little bit, I'm going to go out and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. Being from Michigan, we are being living in Michigan. I'm from Florida originally. We don't get to see this very much. So I'm going to enjoy my week here in Florida with the family. And um, again, if you have any questions, if you if you need prayer, if you if you don't believe any of this and you, you're just looking for more answers, leave a comment below. And uh, again, those of you that have been here, you know the drill just to get the YouTube algorithm going. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button um, and leave a comment again. I really want to hear from you guys. So with that said, everyone have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. Peace.